All right, there's been one thing that's been talked about throughout the season. There's been rumors that Trackhouse would get a third charter and they would have to make a very, very tough decision on who that driver would be. Well, over this past weekend, they made that decision with a surprise number. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. There has been a big discussion all year long about the future of Trackhouse Racing. There has been a lot of talks about them getting a third charter, having a third race team to go along with the number one and the number 99 for 2025. Well, we already had two drivers confirmed for next season being Ross Chastain and then the recently re-signed Daniel Suarez. So the big question was, will Trackhouse get this third charter and who is the driver? Is it going to be Zane Smith or is it going to be Shane Van Gisbergen? And two drivers that are both under contract at Trackhouse but race for different race teams. SVG racing in Xfinity for Colleague and part-time for Colleague in the Cup Series. And then Zane Smith racing for Spire full-time in the Cup Series. And this ended up kind of being a three-step process that kind of told us what was going to happen. That first step was the announcement of SVG getting more starts at the end of the year, getting... I think he got five extra starts, increasing it to seven out of the final 12 races of the Cup Series season. He would race the number 16 for Colleg. That was kind of the first sign to the big announcement. Then the next thing was, I'm going to pull up this statement from Zane Smith. Zane Smith and Trackhouse go their separate ways, essentially ending the Trackhouse contract at the end of this season, cutting all ties with Trackhouse. Very unfortunate to see for Zane Smith. I think the last month or two, he's finally began to figure out this car a little bit because he's really improved in performance over the last month, month and a half. is still way back in points, but I have seen an improvement. He's had a very difficult Rookie season reminds me a lot of Noah Gregson's rookie season just with the performance and just the overall struggle he went from dominating, not quite dominating, but being very, very competitive week in and week out in the truck series to get to the cup series and struggle as much as he did. And like I said, I think just now he's beginning to really figure it out and get some legs under him and then he has... This pulled out from under him. He is no longer part of Trackhouse. And we will talk a little bit more about Zane Smith in a little bit. And then let's get to the big announcement. After the, Not too long after this, it came out that Trackhouse had an announcement planned at Daytona International Speedway. And I think all of us knew what this was going to be. Trackhouse comes out and announces a third charter and that car being driven by the Kiwi SVG Shane Van Gisbergen. Not a very big surprise after the, the previous two things that I had mentioned happened. It kind of seemed like this was going to be the thing that ends it all, that ends that three-step process. So Shane Van Gisbergen is going racing full-time in the Cup Series for Trackhouse. But the big surprise here is the, the number that they announced was a very famous number driven by many great drivers, including Daryl Waltrip, Dale Jarrett, and most recently, Dale Earnhardt Jr. The number 88 makes a return to the Cup Series. And this makes a lot of sense, actually, because Trackhouse has another driver under contract, the young phenom of Connor Zilich, and he's actually going to be racing full-time in the Xfinity Series next season, was announced around a month ago, and he's also driving the number 88 for Junior Motorsports. So it seems like Trackhouse and Junior Motorsports have kind of developed a fairly strong 
relationship, and that makes a lot of sense. Justin Marks, the owner of Track House, is also a part owner of the Cars Tour, along with Dale Earnhardt Jr. So it's very cool to see SVG moving up to the Cup Series full-time for Track House. I'm curious on what all the sponsors will be. SVG has quickly shown up on the scene as a driver that works really well with sponsors and seems to really pull sponsorship in. So we'll see who gets a good amount of races, maybe Wendy's, WeatherTech, some other sponsors potentially on board. But very exciting news for SVG. But let's get back to Zane Smith and let's talk about where Zane Smith could potentially go from here. Zane Smith, like I mentioned earlier, was very, very successful in the truck series, has shown a lot of potential in Xfinity, he did pretty well in some Xfinity series races as well. I remember he raced for Junior Motorsports for a bit, but he, like I said, he's really struggled in the Cup Series this season. The last month, month and a half, he has picked it up. But the big question is, what race team picks him up after this? He's clearly shown that he has the talent. And a lot of people have pointed to, oh, Front Row still needs to get another driver. Front Row Motorsports is the landing spot for Zane Smith because he almost landed there for 2024 in the Cup Series. Well, it sounds like that relationship between Zane Smith and Ford and potentially even Front Row as well has been kind of soured after their separation last year. It sounds like, from what I've heard, that both sides aren't quite a big fan of each other. Zane and Ford, that relationship is kind of broken, it seems like. So I wouldn't expect them to go to any Ford team. It, unfortunately, I'm going to say it, I would love for I would love for him to stay in the Cup Series, I just don't see any potential landing spot for Zane Smith at this point. I don't I don't see him landing anywhere. Rick Ware could be a potential ride, but like I said, that is a Ford team. So I don't see him landing there. Honestly, I see him going back to Xfinity and maybe spending a year in Xfinity at a Junior Motorsports, potentially. It's undeniable that Zane Smith has a bunch of talent. He did fantastic in the truck series in that front row truck while Lane Riggs has moved into his old ride this season and he has struggled heavily. He finally got his first career win at Milwaukee, a great performance at Milwaukee. But other than Milwaukee, he has really struggled in that car. So I think, it, and, and Lane Riggs is a really great short, short track racer and overall an up and coming young racer very talented and he has really struggled in that car. I think that's really shown how talented of a race car driver Zane Smith is. No matter what, I think he will land on his feet and end up in a decent situation next season, whether that's in Xfinity or the trucks. I'd say there's a very slim chance he stays in cup. And if he does stay in cup, he probably races for a worse team than Spire. So probably his best avenue would honestly be to go back to Xfinity and race a year over there and try build up your profile, build up your brand once again and show everybody that you can go out there and win races. And a driver like Harrison Burton is going to be going to be doing the same thing next season, trying to rebuild his brand and rebuild his career. I just think it's really unfortunate for Zane Smith because he's only he's only a rookie, and I think. Right now, he's finally beginning to figure it out, but he's out. He's already out of time. But give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about Shane Van Gisbergen moving to the Cup Series full-time? Do you think it's a good move by Trackhouse? Do you think it's potentially too soon to move SVG up? And what do you think about Zane Smith? Do you think, what do you think about Zane Smith's future? Where do you think he goes? Do you think he goes to Xfinity or Trucks? Do you think it was maybe even a bad move? by track house by letting him go let me know down below also if you haven't already i would appreciate you subscribing to the channel i do multiple nascar videos throughout the week but that'll do it for me thanks for watching my name is kyle aka racing boy short saying peace